I, I'm so sorry, sir. I, I just... I'll wipe it up. Uh, no. Just, no, don't. Just give me a moment. Don't. Sit down. Just give me a moment. I... Just sit down. Eat. This is Italian wine, 20 years old. Drink. Thank you, sir, but I... No buts. Just eat it. It's good, isn't it? Do you like that kind of wine? To be honest, sir, I've never tasted anything like this. Well, get used to it. This is the only way you're going to eat from now. What do you mean? Robert Richardson. So that's how my father looks like. Finally met you, son. Get out of here. Hey, son, stop. Why are you pushing me away? What do you expect from a kid from the orphanage? You ate what he saw, Robert Richardson. Listen, I'm gonna fix this. Oh, really? How you wanna fix this? By good deed, sir. Come on, I got to show you something. Come on. The kid took the bait. He had no idea why I was looking for him. Where are you taking me? Come on, come on, let's go. Okay, we are here. Are you kidding me? You brought me to my own car? <laughs> Is it your car? Just say goodbye to you. You don't have to drive this young anymore. Porsche. Brand new Porsche. Tim's reaction to the gift was just amazing. You like it? Come on, let's go for a drive. What's wrong? You must be afraid of driving such an expensive car. Don't worry, your dad will be there for you. Listen, I'll pass. Wait, wait. Don't you like the Porsche? Let's trade it for Lamborghini. No, I just like my own car. It's just fine. It's covered with scratches. But every scratch is a great memory. The new car will give you new memories. Let's go. Let's pick up some girls and have some fun. Come on! Listen, I have a girlfriend and I love her. So you have fun and I'm gonna get back to work. Tim! Why the hell did you leave the table? I'm sorry, Mr. Murphy. It won't happen again. You bet it won't. Otherwise, I'll fire you. I doubt it. What do you mean? Well, I don't think that uh, some manager can fire a restaurant owner. You doing that? Son, this is my second surprise for you. Now you are not some waiter, you are a restaurant owner. Tim, uh, I mean, Mr. Morris, I apologize for my tactlessness. No, no, just stop it, please. I don't want the restaurant. What are you talking about? Your own restaurant means money, status, and now you're just a servant. Okay, so be it. But I achieved it myself. Can you understand that it's not money and status that makes you happy? You know, just let's leave it at that, okay? Sorry. My plan was falling apart, but then I had a brilliant idea. Or so I thought at the time. I told you to leave. Now you will change your mind. You don't want a nice car or a restaurant? Here you go. You can choose what to spend the money on. You sure? Absolutely. I'll do anything for our reconciliation, so. Well then. I told you you changed your mind.
Are you out of your mind? Something wrong? You want to give away one million dollars to some orphanage? Yes, sir. The orphanage that they left me in the first place. This orphanage replaced my family. This orphanage raised me and taught me everything. Then that's you, Robert. You gotta realize that you can't buy everything, especially a family. Sir. So. Damn! Hey, what's wrong with you? It's okay. I'll be fine in a minute. And I'll go. Painkillers? Oh, wait. I'm calling an ambulance. Don't. I didn't come here to find you and make up with you. I need an urgent kidney transplant. And it so happens that genetically I need yours. But, <laughs> but I'm glad we met anyway. If it weren't for you, I would never have realized how poor I am <laughs> with all my money. And how happy you are with nothing. Forgive me. Forgive me. Don't worry, Mr. Richardson. The surgery went perfectly, and you and the donor are both doing just fine. Donor? Yeah. yeah. I got a transplant? Well, how? Team. just gave me your kidney. Yeah, I did. So now you're going to live. Why? Why did you decide to save me? I mean, I'm the worst father in the world. Sometimes all you have to do is apologize. That's all I ever wanted from you. Dad. My son taught me a simple truth. You reap what you sow, not what you buy. And money doesn't matter here. It may shock you to learn that a similar family drama happened to Ryan from the United States. His twin brother bullied him throughout his childhood and even persuaded his parents to kick Ryan out of the house. But suddenly, nine years later, Ryan's brother turned into a model family man. Guess why? That's right, he needed something, a kidney transplant. Ryan was able to see through his brother's cynical plans and refused him. Do you think everyone deserves a second chance? Hi, my name is Sergey Denga, and I'm part of the main cast on the Dramatize Me project. Subscribe to our channel if you want to watch more videos with me.